simplify 3 raised to power minus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 5 multiplied by 125 whole divided by 5 raised to power minus 7 then multiplied by 6 raised to power minus 5. We see that 3 and 5 cannot be factorized but 10, 125 and 6 we can factorize them. So let us proceed. First of all we will factorize 10, 125 and 6. See in numerator you will write 3 raised to power minus 5, 10 raised to power minus 5, 10 you can write it as 2 multiplied by 5 then power minus 5. 125 it can be written as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. 5 raised to power minus 7 in denominator and instead of 6 raised to power minus 5 you will write 2 multiplied by 3 raised to power minus 5. Why? Because 2 3s are 6. Now we know that a multiplied by b raised to power n is equal to a raised to power n multiplied by b raised to power n. We can use this identity here where a stands for 2, b stands for 5 and n stands for minus 5. Similarly, we can use this identity here also. You can say a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3 and n is equal to minus 5. First of all, we apply the identity numerator 3 raised to power minus 5 as it is first then you can write it 2 raised to power minus 5 5 raised to power minus 5 and 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 you can write it 5 raised to power 3 using the property of exponents 5 raised to power minus 7 as it is and according to this identity you will write 2 raised to power minus 5 multiplied by 3 raised to power minus 5. I want to tell you that some students use this identity in a wrong way. For example they write a plus b raised to power n is equal to either a raised to power n multiplied by b raised to power n or a raised to power n plus b raised to power n but this is wrong you cannot use this identity in these ways before applying this identity you see whether there is a multiplication sign or a plus sign an addition sign here we see that we have multiplication sign between 2 and 5 and between 2 and 3. So we used this identity in this way. You see. Okay. Now, you see that 2 raised to power minus 5 is present in numerator as well as in denominator. So they can be cancelled. Similarly, you can cancel 3 raised to power minus 5 in numerator with 3 raised to power minus 5 in denominator. Finally, you get 5 raised to power minus 5 multiplied by 5 raised to power 3 in numerator and in denominator 5 raised to power minus 7. You can simplify the numerator using this identity a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n when bases are same powers will be added so here a stands for 5 and m stands for minus 5 n stands for 3 so you can write using identity the numerator is 5 raised to power minus 5 
plus 3 and denominator is 5 raised to power minus 7 as it is. Numerator will be simplified as 5 raised to power minus 2 because minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. And denominator you will write 5 raised to power minus 7. Okay. Again, another identity a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n you can write it is equal to a raised to power m minus n okay here a, a stands for 5 m stands for minus 2 and n you can equate with minus 7 using this identity you can see the result is 5 raised to power minus 2 minus of minus 7 and you know minus of minus 7 is plus plus 7 so this is equal to 5 raised to power minus 2 plus 7 and finally you will get 5 raised to power 5 this is the answer